I don't know what we're doing today, but it sure looks delicious and Thanksgiving-like. We're just gonna roast and roast and roast until we have a Thanksgiving feast. All right, let's do it. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. This is Reeb. We are making Thanksgiving. That much I know. Can you tell us the rest? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do like a cyclical roasting extravaganza and we're gonna include some butternut squash bisque. We're gonna make a salad with roasted Brussels sprouts and carrots and we're gonna make some roasted cauliflower mashed potatoes. And then we have a bonus dessert recipe. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Enough talk, let's get chopping. Let's get okay. cooking. <laughs> You got this, Dill. You got it. What is step one? For the butternut squash, cut them both in half and scoop them guts out and put it on the tray. It sure is a pretty orange color. Okay, let's get these seeds out. The oven's 400 degrees. We're throwing in two of these butternuts. So we're gonna roast an onion and garlic as well for our butternut bisque. So I'm just going to peel this thing, chop this onion a little bit, maybe like that, lay it out, peel all this garlic, and I'm just going to put it in a little tin foil and we'll roast it like that. Close this little pack up. That's how I like to roast it, whatever. While that's happening, let's move on to the next step because the butternut takes the longest amount of time in the oven. So now now we're gonna chop some Brussels sprouts and carrots for our salad and we'll roast those too. All I'm doing is essentially quartering these things. I'm taking, cutting a little root off, cutting it in half and then half again. So we got two trays left. Reeves wants this all on four trays. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all that fits in the oven. So, and that's what fits in most ovens. I bought the fancy organic carrots. These are pretty in multiple colors. Cut them in half and then just make some nice chunks of carrots. This is a pretty nice color. Look at the inside. Whoa, that looks so pretty. We are mixing together some of this no salt mustard and some balsamic and we're gonna whisk it together and pour it over these. Give them a toss. You want some other herbs in there too? I got all, all of the Thanksgiving essentials. Then we'll just sprinkle in, I don't know, a half a teaspoon of each. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and I guess a little marjoram, why not? Get everything coated real nice. You want to roast the cauliflower as, as well, I understand, Rebecca? We're gonna use it for our mashed potatoes. Get all this leafy stuff out, core it. Potato time, what's next? <laughs> potatoes, you just, oh, said, you just it. said it. <laughs> we are going to boil some potatoes to make some mashed potatoes to go with that cauliflower that we're roasting. So we have just gold potatoes because with gold potatoes, you don't really have to take the skin off like you do with a russet for mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to chunk these up, throw them in some water and we're gonna boil them on the stove. Simple, simple. That's a monster right there. All right, while everything's roasting, we're gonna do a little salad prep. We've got a bunch of green onions, also known as scallions, and we're going to just slice them like normal. Then we got some mint, some fresh mint. We're just gonna tug some of these leaves off the stems like so, and then we'll just chop them roughly. The potatoes are a boil. Turn it down and let it rip. Got some cranberries. Oranges, let's prep our orange juice. Squeeze me. Strain this OJ into another bowl. We're going to prepare some pear dessert. Stuffed pears, let's cut these pears in half and we're gonna melon baller out the seeds and the little core. This is what happens when you have one extra. What do we have here, Reeb? Some walnuts and oats? Figured we could just add some raisins and cinnamon. I'm all about simple. We're going to use a little soy milk, give it a little stir. Let's just let that soak for a couple minutes. Let's let it absorb some of the milk. Should we get a little nutmeg in there? Yeah, put some nutmeg in there. Okay. Let's set this filling aside and we're gonna check on our potatoes. Our potatoes are ready. I wanna save some of the potato water, so I'm gonna strain the potatoes, save some water, catch it under here in the bowl. We took our veggies out. These veggies for the salad, my carrots, have just a little bit of crunch, not crunch, 
but they're not quite like soft like a mashed potato because you want to have a little texture. Plus, they're going to keep cooking as they sit here and cool. We just threw in our cauliflower out of the uh, roasty pan and we're going to mash this together with a little bit of garlic and onion and some potato water or soy milk, whatever you want to do. And then that'll be ready. We're going to blend up our soup, but the butternut still needs a little more time. That thing's going to, that's the longest out of all the things we've been roasting. So let's get to it, shall we? I'm going to throw in just a little bit of onion powder, you know, a couple teaspoons. It looks like I'm running low in this jar. Throw it all in a little garlic powder. And then let's throw in some of our boil, potato boil water and start mashing these. Mm. I like the little burnt bits on the cauliflower. It's nice. We're gonna throw our potatoes into this nice casserole dish and we'll throw them back in the oven just to keep warm. Oh, those look beautiful. Wow, you made the perfect amount. We cooked the buckwheat like pasta. I switched it up because we screwed up the first batch and that's good. I'm gonna drain it and we'll cool it off. Wow, that's a lot. Let's start putting this salad together. I'm gonna take all my roasted veggies and throw them into a monster bowl. Let's get some of this buckwheat in. I don't know if I'm gonna need it all yet, so let's just take it easy here. Give it a little stir. It's pretty good. Throw in a few of these. Throw in a handful of some mint, the green onions. Mmm. Let's put it in a little platter. How's it looking? Oh boy. Let's let the butternut squash cool. While that's happening, since our oven is now available again, let's get these pears going. Our mixture has absorbed all the soy milk stuff a little bit into all these pears. Cover that, keep the moisture in so they get nice and soft. I'm gonna turn it down to like 350. We are going to make a little gravy to go with everything, really. I'd probably put some gravy over that salad. Throw some boiling water in here. Now we have the Well Your World mushroom gravy mix. Throw in a little bit of cashews, a little handful of cashews. Give it a little bit of salt with some liquid aminos. Mmm, instant gravy. Oh, that is good. Let's see what we're up against. I am just throwing all of this beautiful squash. I'm just trying to use a spoon to pull it off of the skin. And we're throwing it in the blender. We're gonna give it a nice blend with some veggie stock. Then we'll add some other things to give it a little flavor. Might as well do the garlic. So let's see how our roasty garlic came out. Oh boy, throw that in there. And let's go for another spin. There's our first batch. Let's dump it in, keep going, and we'll adjust it. We'll add some, maybe something in the end. Once we taste it, we know what it needs. We've got all of our squash blended up in here. Heat this thing back up now, because it cooled off a lot, and I like a hot soup, you know me. Put a little bit of those fall flavors, more of the parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, and see what happens. I'm just winging it. Assess that out. That's good, that's plenty. I don't want it to take away that sweetness from the squash, it's so good. Do you want to start with some soup? Some bisque, I mean. I would love to start with some bisque. It's really good. It's mm -hmm. sweet, it's simple. Let's get some of that salad on here. And those uh, patata bravas. Well, I want obviously lots of gravy on the potatoes. I gotta get the gravy on the salad there too. It's a buckwheat <laughs> salad. Oh, I love the salad. It's still got a little bit of crunch to it. It's perfect. How do you feel about the mint in the salad? I like it. All the flavors go together, even with a little gravy on top. This definitely tastes like a plate of Thanksgiving. Let's see how this soft, mushy pear came out. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> it's like a cooked oatmeal pear. <laughs> that is what it is. I think I'm about ready to get off camera so I can have another plate. Me too. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you for all the support. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.